Hey our friends, today we're going to be drawing Big Ben. Yeah, and actually when I was getting ready for this video, I found out that Big Ben is the name of the bell. So we're not drawing Big Ben. Oh. We're actually drawing the Elizabeth Tower and also the Great Clock of Westminster. Wow. I hope I got that right. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Okay, let's start by drawing the clock. We're gonna draw a circle in the middle of our paper, but towards the bottom so that we have room for all of the details. And there are a lot of details on the clock and also the tower, but we're gonna to try to keep this lesson a little easier by leaving off some of those details. So first, let's start by drawing a circle right in the middle of our paper, and we're gonna draw it, let's see, about this big. I'm not drawing it too big so that we have room for the rest of the tower. There you go. Nice. You did it. Okay, now let's draw a square around the circle. So first I'm going to start by drawing a line that comes down and connects to the left side. And we want to stop the top and the bottom right in line with the top of the circle so that we can go around and connect. And we want to draw that so that the circle is right inside of the square. Okay, now let's extend the left side out just a little bit at the top and the bottom. And then we're going to repeat that same line on the right side, top and bottom. Then we're going to connect those two lines on each side together. And then we're going to extend right here up about this far. And we're going to do that also right here. And oh, let's do it here also. So we're going to just extend the lines further in all four areas. So we're going to do it the top and also the bottom. And the bottom lines, let's extend them slightly longer than the top lines. Then we're going to connect all of these lines together on the top and also the bottom. So we're making this really cool pattern. Now let's draw the rest of the tower going down. We're going to come in just a little ways on the left side and we're going to draw a line going all the way to the bottom of our paper. I'm not going to the edge though, so we'll leave a little space. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. We'll extend it down almost to the edge of the paper. It's already starting to look like the Elizabeth Tower. It's looking really cool. Okay, now let's come up here and we're going to draw a little further in. We're going to draw the next layer on top. So we're going to do the same thing, except we're not going to go as far down. We're just going to go about that distance and we're going to do the same thing over here. Draw the line, same length. And then let's connect those lines together at the top. Let's add another rectangle a really short but wide rectangle on top of that. And then we're going to leave some space. We're going to come up a little ways and we're going to draw a short horizontal line and we want it to be the same distance on both sides. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line with a little bit of curve coming down and connecting to the edge on each side. Yeah. And then we're going to extend these lines up a little further. And then we're going to connect those at the top. Let's add another small rectangle on top of that. And then we're going to imagine a line going right down the middle and up towards the top. And we're going to add a little guide point right there. Then we're going to connect down to this edge and also to this edge. Well, that was a little more curved than I wanted. That's okay. <laughs> we're practicing, right? Yes. Now at the very top, let's add a little rectangle shape at the very top. And we can also add a short line and a circle at the top. There's a lot more details up at the top, but we're going to leave those off. We have all of the main shapes for our tower. Now let's add some of the details. Let's start by adding 
little shapes inside of this rectangle shape right here. We're gonna start by drawing an upside down U right here in the middle. And we want to leave enough space so that we can draw three more on each side. So I'm going to leave a little space. We're going to draw another upside down U, second one, and then a third one if you can fit it. And that's okay if you can't, but try and squeeze it in there. We've got one more. So we've got three on each side and one in the middle. Next, we're going to repeat that same pattern, except we're going to stretch them so that they're really long. And we're going to draw them below this, this shape and down here in the bigger rectangle. So let's first start by drawing the center one. I'm gonna draw it really tall. Watch this, we're gonna come all the way up like this, curve around, and then back down. That's kind of a fun shape to draw. Then let's just trace over the sideline right here, and we're gonna come all the way up, curve around, and then back down for the next one. And we're gonna do that two more times. We'll come up, around, and back down. And one last time, we can even just start up here instead of tracing all the way up that line. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. We'll curve around, we'll draw another really long upside down U shape. One more, and then one last one to finish that bottom detail. Now we could also, let's add one detail coming across the bottom. Then we're gonna repeat that same pattern right up here above this rectangle shape. So we're gonna draw, kind of coming up high, we're gonna draw one right in the middle, come up, around, and down. And then I'm gonna go a little faster since we're just repeating those same steps. We're gonna add three more upside down U shapes. These are little arches. We're gonna draw three on the right side too. One, two, three. Then up here, we're gonna draw that same thing. We're gonna draw another arch right in the middle on this part, but we're just gonna add two upside down U's on each side. One, two. Yeah. And then we can add, I, I think these might be windows. We're gonna add four little rectangle shapes on this layer like that. There you go. Yeah. And then on top of each rectangle, we can add a little triangle shape. Then we're gonna draw on the next layer up, we're gonna draw three rectangle shapes. So we'll draw one in the middle and then one on each side. I love how much detail is on this tower. Yes. It's so cool, especially when you're looking at a photograph of this tower. It's amazing how much detail. We're gonna add those little triangles on top of each rectangle. And then we're gonna add just little triangles up here. So first we're gonna add three. So we'll add one, two, three, so small. Then on the next layer, we're gonna add two triangles, one, two, and then one right in the middle. Okay, now let's add little spires on top of each of these layers. We're gonna add a line coming up on each side. Mine are a little crooked, that's okay. <laughs> and then we can add a little plus at the very top. Okay, let's do the same thing on this layer. We're gonna add a little line coming up on each side, and we can add a little detail right here, side of those spires. Let's also add an extra little horizontal line at the very top, and we could also do that up here on these two. Then right here on this layer, we're gonna add a line that comes up, over, and down, just a little column. And then at the very top, we can add a little triangle shape, and then connecting it to the inside, we're gonna draw a little curve, two of them on top of each other. Yes, let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw that rectangle shape, a tall, skinny one, a triangle on top, and then two curves connecting to the center. 
Wait a minute, we're missing something really important. The clock. Yeah, the clock. Let's draw the hands on there first. We're gonna draw a hand coming straight down the middle and ending in the center of our circle. Oh, we could even extend just a little past it too. And then we're gonna draw a short hand coming across this way. We could also add a little arrow at the end if you want. And then let's also add the numbers. Let's just add a little dash at the top and also the bottom. Then we're gonna add a little dash on the right side and also the left, right in the middle. And then we're gonna split each one in two. So we'll add two dashes here, two dashes in this corner, and this corner, and over here. And those are a little close. That's okay. <laughs> and we finished drawing the Elizabeth Tower, except we need to do one more thing. Color it. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring the Elizabeth Tower and it looks awesome, all colored in. I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. And if you have our same marker set, our Art for Kids Hub markers, you can use the same colors. We used 100 brown, or the number of 100. It's this really cool gold brown. And then we used three grays, CG1, CG5, and... CG7. Yeah, but remember, you don't have to use the same markers. You can use a different set or even use something completely different like colored pencils or even crayons. Yes. We hope you have fun drawing the Elizabeth Tower with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.